Hey guys, Logicus here with a full completion walkthrough for Secret Agent Cold War Espionage. It's due to release on the 19th of April 2023 and it was both developed and published by Kung Fu Takeaway. It can be found in the Xbox store for $9.99 and is currently on pre-order. It's a third person espionage shooter set during the Cold War era where you play as the charming Agent 49, not to be confused with any other agents of a similar name, but anybody who loves those old school spy movies should really enjoy this game. The full completion is going to take you anywhere between one to two hours if you follow along with my guide. There's a total of seven missions that we need to complete and a number of miscellaneous achievements, such as dying in a particular way, completing a mission without being detected and numerous collectibles that we'll need to complete during the missions. Thankfully, once you've completed the game, there is mission select, so there won't be any missable achievements. I'm going to be guiding you through this full video for the full hour. So let's jump into mission one and head down to Paris. Here we're going to have a brief tutorial on some of the basic moves. The controls pop up there, but I quickly close them down. Just as you go around the corner, we'll mantle up this wall. It's just a case of walking up to it and pressing A to mount. And then just push up on the analog stick to vault over the wall. As you jump over the wall, we'll then be asked to spot a CIA spy using our binoculars. So just as you walk around this corner here, and there'll be a locked gate, pop out your binoculars and you'll be able to spot him on the rooftop there. And then we should be then able to open the gate with A. Next, we'll have a security camera. It'll just tell us that we can press B to crouch and this will allow us to sneak past. But for the case of this video, we're going to destroy all cameras because we do need 20 for an achievement. We'll then be shown how to knock out an enemy. So just sneak up behind them and again press A to knock them out. And this is Agent 22, who we're going to have a brief conversation with. Thank you. That Russian agent was following me. You need to retrieve a stolen dossier. It is in a safe in the Soviet embassy. Please try not to shoot anyone. I know what you Americans are like. Right. Got it. Don't shoot any Americans. At this point, mission one opens up a little bit more and we're kind of free to roam around the whole area or sandbox. We'll also get an achievement pop up there, French connection for meeting with the Russian agent. We now have a quick cut scene that displays a Russian spy. All we're gonna do is take out this camera above him. That makes it our second camera thus far. Like I said, we do need to destroy 20 of those for an achievement. Knock this guy out and you will have the ability to then open the trunk. Within there is a briefcase. We need to collect a total of 15 of these as part of our collectibles. Another collectible is to spot CIA agents. There is a total of 19 and 4 in this area. The 4 in this area can be found on all the skyscraper rooftops. So there's one during the tutorial which we spotted. And then there's another 3 on these rooftops which I'm slowly spotting as I make my way around. Just make sure that you get all four before proceeding with the rest of this mission. Just around this corner at the back side of the map, there is a CIA security van. All we need to do is walk around the back of this, press B to sneak and then press A to open the van door. There's a total of five security vans we need to find and this is one of the first. As we make our way back to the embassy, on the back side of the building here is another camera. Don't worry if you've missed it, we will get an opportunity to get it again. I'm now looking for the last CI agent on the roof, which is actually directly behind me. So there's one to my left, the way I'm facing now, and the other three are directly behind me up on these rooftops. And there is the fourth one that I was looking to find. Now that we've got all those four spotted and shot out the two cameras, got the security van, we can now make our way into the embassy and get this mission finished off. So as we get our way around into the garden area here, we get a, a quick cut scene here with two Russian agents talking. Just crouch, walk up behind them and knock each of them out. The trunk of this car is currently open and inside it we will find another briefcase so just ensure you pick that up i will put timestamps in the description below to all missions and their collectibles just in case you're missing one or unsure where it was just beside this camera we destroyed earlier on there is a security bug on the wall 
just make sure you pick that up and then run around the back of the building and we should be able to mount onto these vines and climb onto the roof. Once we get to the top, there is a glass ceiling that we need to drop through. However, it has got some security laser beams covering it. So first of all, destroy the red box there to cut off the lasers, shoot the glass and then drop in. First of all, I think I'm going to go and grab the bug, which is just on the side of this bust. Pick that up and then ensure that you press A on this tape to play that. There is also a computer to hack and a passport on the desk. Pick up the passport and hack the computer. After we've hacked the computer, there will be a safe to our right hand side. Just ensure that you press A on that to open it up and we should find a dossier inside. That should be all the collectibles for this mission and then soon as we approach the door to exit that will finish the level and move us on to mission two. In terms of the tapes, bugs and passports there's eight of each of those to collect. Like I said I'll put timestamps in the description to those but they're all covered in this video. We're now going to move on to mission two which is us locked up in a Russian prison. There's not too much in terms of collectibles on this level. There's a couple of security cameras and one briefcase that we need to collect. The majority of this mission is just quickly trying to escape the area without dying. We will, however, get an achievement for sniping five people with our pistol and binoculars. And I'll show you that when we get to it. Our colleague has kindly opened our prison cell that we're in so we can wander out. So once we get in control of our character, just head over to the cell door, open that up. Head on out and we're going to go down the stairs. As we get halfway down the stairs, just make sure that you are sneaking so the security cameras don't detect you. Oh yes, your appeal. Good news, you're not getting shot today. Really? I am free? No, you're getting shot tomorrow. <laughs> then we're going to sneak around the back of this guard and knock him out. Once knocked out, he will drop a little note with a number on it, which is 1471, which is a door code that we're going to need shortly. You do need to knock out the guard to be able to interact with the keypad. If you don't, you won't be able to use the door. Head through to the bathroom knock down the vent and sneak on through as you get to the end knock down the other vent on the other side just ensure that you're still creeping so the camera doesn't spot you and then this is the keypad in question we just need to type in 1471 and then hit the tick access granted and the door should open we can then stand up and head to the back of the room where we'll pick up our pistol do a 180 and we'll be able to activate the lift by opening the switch box and overriding the elevator. We'll get a cutscene of the elevator coming down. But before we step onto the elevator, what we're going to do is take out that camera with our pistol. So open the door while crouched, turn left and shoot the camera. We're then free to stand up if you wish and we can take the elevator up. As we step out of the elevator, we want to shoot the camera on the right hand side before it spots us and the red power box to the left, which will allow us to open the security doors. Hit the big red button and we're going to head outside. Here we need to disable six power sources to be able to open the gate. So there is one here at the middle of the tower. There's one on the right hand side on this fence and then the others are on the outside guarded by machine gun turrets ensure that you jump into this corner you'll have a button here to switch off all turrets which is handy there is also a third power source there we can now mooch past the turrets without any issues of them shooting us another power source there shoot that in that corner there's one on the back of the tower here and the final one is in the opposite corner here behind this turret we're then free to jump over the electric fence and pull the switch on the base of the tower and then that should open the gate. 
The fence that we jumped over is electrified and we will bump into a couple of these later on, including one that has achievement related to it in Helsinki. We've now got an achievement for solving the firing squad puzzle. And as we make it to this staircase, we'll be given a quick tutorial on how to snipe. So you use your binoculars and then hold left trigger to aim. It is a little tricky as the sensitivity seems to be really high over distance. If you are struggling to snipe them from a distance, what you can do is take the ones out at the base of the stairs and then as we climb up to the wall, you can then shoot the guys on the wall with the binoculars, which is a little easier. But I'm going to do it from the top of the staircase. So the two on the outer wall have been shot. There's one down here on the floor to the left, which I'm about to snipe using the binoculars. Then there's another one just to the right of the gate entrance door there. And then we're going to drop down and snipe this fifth guy, which is going to give us the achievement. So switch to binoculars mode and shoot him. That should be our fifth guard that we've sniped and give us our counter Soviet achievement. Open the trunk of this car before we leave and take the briefcase. This is the last collectible for this area. We're now going to climb up to the outer wall. Don't worry too much about the searchlights. They don't seem to affect you in any way. If you did, for whatever reason, accidentally shoot one without using your binoculars, there is a two guards on the back wall to the left hand side. And there is also one down here where we're going to drop down. So drop down to this next low section of wall. It's hard to see with all the snow, but uh, there is a couple of ledges we can drop down on. Kill this guard guarding the gate and then we can pull the button to exit. And then all we need to do is get to the back of the prison. So we're going to hug this wall all the way around to the back side. Where we'll find a submarine sat on the icy waters. And then we're going to jump on the little sections of ice here to get to the submarine. During my playthrough, you may notice me jumping around. This is because it is a little bit faster than sprinting. So we're then going to jump onto these four little icebergs that we've got here. And then as we jump onto the last one, we're going to launch ourselves onto the submarine. Just make sure you don't fall into the water and then press A to mount and then just hold down on the left analog stick to come down the ladder. And then we should get the capitalist spy achievement by speaking to Agent 21. Welcome aboard, Agent 49. The dossier you collected in Paris was a decoy. Looks like it was planted by a double agent. Can I send the ping? Always wanted to in these submarines. Pay attention, Agent 49. Pick up the real dossier on the bunk over there. Do a 180, pick up the dossier from the bunk bed and speak to Agent 21 again to finish the mission. KGB and energy scientist made his millions extorting foreign governments and high party officials. Half degree bubble, down periscope. He recently purchased the famous Royale Diamond for 10 million, which has now gone missing. Intel has evidence it was an inside job, but he has not made any insurance claims. Why steal your own diamond and hide it? This is the mystery we need to find out. That dossier was picked up in a diplomatic bag in New York. We have reason to believe this is where Zavaro is now. Mission 3 will be New York and is actually an airport setting. There is an achievement to complete this level without being detected. So that's what we're going to aim to do. So we will be sneaking around a little bit in the restricted areas just so that we don't get spotted. The achievement states either in New York or Helsinki. I did find New York to be a lot easier to do undetected. Once we spawned in, just go and talk to Agent 21. security card find an airport worker and knock them out they should have a key card nearby good luck agent 49 head through the fence and we're going to get one of our unique deaths here so as we get onto this first airfield or runway strip we're going to stand somewhere in the middle and then as the next plane comes in this is going to give us a unique death 
by getting squished by an aeroplane. So we'll get mission failed and we'll get kicked back to our previous checkpoint, but we get cabin cruise does manual doors achievement. Now that's out the way, we're going to head towards the airport terminals. So just sprint over in that direction. Yep, I thought I was, I was going to kick in the jumps. So it is a little bit faster than sprinting. There is like a second pause when you land, but it is still a little bit quicker than the sprint. Just behind this fuel truck here, we will find an employee of the airport. Stood next to a baggage uh, carriage here. What we want to do is walk up behind him, sneak and then press A to knock him out. And then we're going to pick up the red key card that can be found on the front of his vehicle. Once we pick that up, we're going to then head over to the hangars on the right hand side. So although the mission takes place within the terminal, we're going to head over to the hangars first. Over here, we should find a briefcase as well as two cameras to destroy. So either sprint or hop your way along into this big hangar here. As you can see in the back left corner, just coming into view is two crates. These can be destroyed by shooting them. This was one of the collectibles I was struggling to find and did have to have a word with the developers to find out where it was. So break both of these boxes. It should be in the one in the right hand side. Head over and pick up the briefcase. Head back out to the front of this hangar now. And then just as we get out of the main doorway here, bear right and just round the corner should be a camera on the wall of the hangar. Just make sure it doesn't spot you. Take that out and then we're going to head back to the main terminal. As you can see there, you can see another camera sweeping left and right. We're going to take that one out as well. Like I said, we do need to destroy all the cameras for an achievement. We do need to destroy all 20. There is actually 22, I believe, in total. But that involves you backtracking on the prison mission, which we're not going to do in this playthrough. We're going to head inside the terminal now, which we're going to have to start sneaking shortly. So take out this camera, head up to the back door, and we should be able to open it with that key card from the employee. And through this section, we're going to continually sneak. So don't stand up or you will get detected. As we approach these laser beams, just make sure you're still crouched, take out the camera, scoot you over to the right a little bit and you'll see a red power box in the back. If you are struggling to shoot it, just switch to binoculars mode and get a more precise shot. As we come through the doorway here, the bare right, we want to shoot the lock off that crate and break this crate, one of which has the briefcase in and the one with the padlock also has the mission objective which allow us to progress through the mission. That should then checkpoint but still stay crouched just so you don't get detected. I found that you do get detected in restricted areas rather easily even if there's nothing in here to spot you such as a person or a camera for some reason you still get detected which is a little odd. We can stand up in this little section of corridor but we're going to head straight over to another restricted area here, the customs office. So you may as well stay crouched. While sneaking, head through here. There will be a terminal or computer on the left hand side we can hack. I don't think it's necessary for the achievement guide, but I've put it in there anyway. As we get to the next desk, there is a passport on the end there. Just ensure you pick that up. And then directly to the right of that is a safe. Open the safe and we should find a dossier. Just ensure that you pick up the dossier once the safe is open. And then we're going to go into the back room just next to the safe here. On one corner of the table is a fake ticket that will need to progress the mission. And then just around the corner from that is a tape. Just ensure you press A to listen to that. You can move on once you've pressed A on it and the dialogue will just play out as you're leaving the area. Opening this door, we come back into the main terminal. As this is a public area, we can stand up and run around. I did holster my gun by pressing right on the D-pad, but I don't believe it's necessary. You can still run around with your gun out. 
We don't need to talk to any of these security officials, so we'll just walk around these guys. And then we're going to head to the front doors as if we were leaving the airport. At the very end of this corridor to the right hand side, there is a CIA agent down there. Just make sure you use your binoculars to spot him. It should take the total up to five. And then directly out the front here, as you've probably spotted, there is a security van. Just sneak up to the back of it and then press A to open the door. That is our second surveillance van we've now spotted. Move out into the middle of the street and we're going to get another unique death here by getting run down by a taxi. Once you've been splattered, you'll get the mission failed and the follow that cab achievement pop. Don't worry, we'll checkpoint back inside the airport. At the moment, we don't need to go back outside to so just do a 180 and we're going to head into the gents toilets. So just between the escalator here, there is a toilet. Just head to the back right corner and we'll find another briefcase collectible. Head back out and then what we're going to do is take this escalator upstairs to the next level. This is the kind of the middle floor to the airport. There is another one above. We're going to then head back out to the front where all these taxis are. On this upper floor drop off level there is a KGB car parked on the opposite side of the road. So the black vehicle here, just head round to the back of it, open the trunk and we'll find another briefcase. That's it in terms of things to collect from outside. So we're going to head back inside the airport and this time we're going to go through security. Just make sure that you don't go through the security scanners or you will set off the alarm. So just go through the corner here. Next to the security guard, you will find a passport. Just ensure you pick that up. And just behind the security guard sat down reading a paper is another CIA agent. Make sure you scan him with your binoculars and that will push us up to six. Press this button to call the elevator and we're going to head up to the first class lounge. This is to progress the main story mission a little bit further. As we come up the stairs, take a right and we want to speak to this receptionist. Me, we'll then be given two options. We're going to give her option two, that we have a false ticket which is fine and we can go on through. Head inside and then we want to speak to the bartender, which is another undercover agent. He's going to tell us that we need to plant a wiretap. Once you've spoken to him, you'll have two options. Just make sure you pick option two, which is always better in Athens. And then we'll proceed through to the next area. suspect they may have a bomb find out which flight the bomb is on go to the area marked x on the floor the x on the floor is just behind us but before we do that there is another cia agent to scan with our binoculars just ensure you grab him which will push us up to seven and then what we want to do is sneak onto this spot and press a to wiretap the conversation Once the conversation's finished, we're going to stand up and walk to the two guys over here. You'll hear a beeping because there is a bug sat on the back of his chair. Just make sure you pick that up and then we're going to proceed to defuse the bomb on the aircraft. You should have the detected in the bottom right still greyed out. If that's lit up for whatever reason, you have been spotted and you'll be no longer getting the achievement for being undetected. If that's the case, don't worry too much. Once you finish the game, you will get the option for chapter select where you can come back to this mission and try again. We've now come down the elevator and we're going to head over to terminal A2 to board the aircraft. Just speak to the gate agent or flight attendant here and she'll allow you onto the plane to defuse the bomb. So once the conversation's played out, run onto the plane. At the very end, we'll find the hostess trolley with the bomb inside. We're going to intentionally cut the wrong wire to get us killed in a particular way. So once you've opened the trolley and pressed A on the bomb, what we're going to do is actually cut the red wire by pressing LB. 
This is going to blow up the bomb, fail the mission, but in turn give us an achievement. And there we go. We can then do a 180 and run back onto Terminal A2. Head back onto the plane, open the hostess trolley again, press A on the bomb, and then this time we're going to press X to cut the black wire. This will be the collect diffuse procedure and it'll allow us to complete the mission. So as you can see in the bottom right, I am still undetected. So to complete this mission, now all we need to do is exit through terminal B2, which is just next door. As you start running down the terminal or the ramp here towards the plane, you should get the achievement for ghost agent for being undetected. This is for sneaking through those restricted areas I mentioned earlier on in this video level. Once we drop onto the tarmac here, we will complete mission three and also unlock an achievement for FBI with a warrant. Now with mission three, New York complete, we're gonna head over to number four, which is Tokyo. Here we'll have two deaths in a particular way so we'll have to kill ourselves twice there's also a couple of cia agents and their security van but once the level's loaded in speak to agent 22 first the man you need to wiretap is general zhu he's a general for the people's liberation army he should be with vladimir Vostkov. he is planning something diabolical evil knows evil if you know what i mean Voskov is Zavaro's head of security. We need to find out what the general is planning. Speak with the barman at Hotel Tokyo International. Try not to drink the vodka at the bar. It is like sewage. Right. Stay away from the sewage. So our main objective is to speak to the bartender in the hotel. But we're not going to do that just yet. Head up this left-hand side street. Hop along or sprint, whatever you prefer. And then in the very back left corner, which is just coming into view now, is a dumpster. Just open that up and we will find a briefcase in there. Adding that to our collectibles list. We're then going to take a left. And then in this very corner, directly in front of us, you can kind of see a train running across the tracks above us there. What you're going to do is head up this ramp and, of course, get yourself hit by the train because why not? So just land on the track, get whacked by the train, and then we get another achievement for Tokyo Bullet. We'll then respawn just under the train platform where we died. Take a left, and we're gonna head around to the front of the hotel. But before we get to the front, if you look to the right here, there is a down ramp for the underground car park. Head down here, and we're gonna go to the left-hand side first. There should be a security camera in the corner, which of course we want to take out. Add that one to the list. And there is a KGB car here. Open the trunk and grab the briefcase. We're now going to move around to the opposite side of the underground car park. So head straight over and bear right. And there's going to be another camera to the right hand side. And then opposite that camera is a security van. Head over to the back of it again. Press B to crouch and then A to open the door. And there's our guys from the CIA. I believe that's our third van now, just two of those to go. Instead of going up the off ramp, this time we're going to just press the button to call the elevator and we're going to head up into the ground floor of the hotel. Once we get up here, we're going to obey a right and there is a CIA agent on the phone. You've guessed it, just scan him with your binoculars. And there's one in the lobby reading a newspaper. Scan him as well, and that'll take us up to nine. Now head upstairs to the second floor of the hotel, and you'll find a bar with the bartender. This is our undercover agent that we were told to speak to. Talk to him, ensuring that you pick selection number two when given a choice. If it rains in Moscow. Good. See the hotel receptionist. Tell her you are Mr. Napoleon. Now that we've finished with him, we're going to head down to the hotel reception, check in as Mr. Napoleon, and then she's going to give us some directions to head upstairs, get a key and head into the room. Good evening, sir. Do you have a reservation? Good. General 
Ju is staying in the presidential suite. Take a lift to the 10th floor and enter room 1005. This room belongs to his head of security. You will find the key to 1005 in the service room. From here, find a way to the presidential suite. Swing left and head over to the elevators. You want to activate the ones on the left hand side. The right ones will take you back down to the car park. Head up the elevator. Come off at the floor, take a left. And then at the right hand side here is kind of the services cleaning cupboard. Make sure you pick up the key. And then we're going to head down to this one with the red do not disturb sign on the door. Head inside where we're going to find a passport on the bed. Just make sure you pick that up. And then on the table behind us is a tape. Just press A to play that. And as it's playing, we're going to head towards the window. You can break the bottom right pane here. Crouch down and head onto the window ledge. Do your best not to fall off here because the checkpoint's right at the start of the mission. You can either shimmy over or you can just do a jump like I'm doing here. Like I said, make sure you don't fall down. Sneak and then press A to listen to the stakeout. Once that's over with, stand up and head to this pipe. Press A to mount it and then push up on the left analog stick to shimmy up the pipe. When we get to the top, we should get another checkpoint. And here we're going to get ourselves killed. So jump up to the top once you've got the checkpoint, not before. Do ensure you've got the checkpoint. And then jump off the rooftop here. Any direction doesn't really matter. And then as you hit the deck, you should get the achievement for dead drop. And if the checkpoint did kick in before jumping off, you'll be straight back on the roof where we can continue to eavesdrop and move on with the story. We're now going to break into the apartment, so just do a 180 and open the sliding door behind us. Directly in front of us, next to the telly, we'll find another passport. Pick that one up, and then we're going to head through to this left hand side of this room where we'll find a bug on this wall. There is another bug on the opposite side, so head over the other side. And on the right hand side here, there is another bug. So two bugs in this area. Once those are picked up, then pick up the document. We're going to head back round to the big table. Open the chest here, which will have a load of caviar inside. And then finally interact with this plant or ornament on the middle of the table to find a hidden button. That's going to open the painting and display a safe. Head over to the safe, press A to crack it and collect both the dossier and the Enigma blueprint from it. Once we've got both of those picked up, we're going to head to the double doors just on our right hand side here. Then there'll be two fire escape exits to go through. This is the one and then one here. As soon as you open this one, there will be a camera on your left hand side. Just make sure you don't get spotted. If you do, just ensure you shoot at the camera before it sets off any alarms. Head upstairs to the helipad and then to finish off the mission, we're going to plant a tracking bug on the back of the helicopter. Run up to the back tail here, press B to sneak and then you should get a prompt to plant a homing device. And then as we leave the helipad, the final cutscene should kick in moving us on to level five mission five is helsinki this is another level that you can do sneakily or undetected to get that achievement however i tried it a couple of times and for whatever reason i kept getting detected so i suggest sticking with new york for that one as we start the mission speak to agent 22 this is avaro's shipping company he exports caviar that tastes like sewage. A missing nuclear missile has been traced to this location. We suspect it is stolen from a Soviet stockpile. Break into the warehouse and find that missile. Knock out the guard to get the door code. Right. Shoot the door code to get the caviar. 
Good luck, Agent 49. Once we've spoken to her, turn around and look out to sea. On this little boat, you will find a CIA agent there. That is agent number 10. There is another one on that rooftop, which will give us 11. There's also an achievement for getting over the fence without touching it and taking electric damage, which I'll show you the best method to do that shortly. But first of all, there is a CIA agent fan here. Surveillance fan. Just head around to the back of it. Crouch, open the door, and that should be our fourth fan. Right, there is a padlock on this fence or gate. Just shoot that. We should be able to open the gate. And then this second dumpster will have a briefcase in it. And sure you pick that up. And then we're going to use the lid of this bin to give us a little bit of height. And as you guessed it, we're going to do a sprint jump over the fence. As long as you don't touch the fence and don't get electrocuted, you should get the achievement. There we go. Honey trap for jumping over the electric fence without taking damage. I did take a little bit of damage, but that was actual fall damage rather than from the electric fence. Two cameras on those doors there, which I've just taken out. And then there's a third camera at the entrance, just to ensure you take those out. We then spot an agent up on the top of that oil silo there. Just make sure you spot him. That'll take us up to 12. Then we're gonna head over to this KGB limo. We're going to open the trunk and we'll find another briefcase. Just make sure you pick that up. Then we're going to knock out this security guard, which is going to drop a notepad and a security code. The code is 1562. So just remember that because we're going to need it shortly. On the top of this stairwell here on our right hand side, there is another security camera. Just make sure you take that out. We'll be going back up that stairwell shortly. But before that, there is another KGB limo around this corner. Again, open the trunk and grab the briefcase from that. Now that we've picked up all the collectibles outside, we're going to head inside this warehouse. So just where we destroyed that camera a couple of seconds ago, head up the staircase. And then we're going to have to use the keypad at the top here which is 1562 and then the tick arrow if you hadn't taken out the guard you won't be able to interact with this keypad so make sure you take him out first bear right and we'll find a room here there's two collectibles in here there is a dossier in this filing cabinet just make sure you pick that up and there is also a security or tracking bug there on the wall just grab that don't believe you need to interact with this computer but I do anyway just to be on the safe side and then it's once we've interacted with that we're going to head over this gangway as we start walking over it it'll force us into sneak mode and then a couple of seconds down here it'll then switch to a cutscene where we're looking through our binoculars plutonium has been extracted, but forget about the plutonium did the code work yeah it did work Good, good. The chip leaves tonight. Operation Dark Doom is three days away. Zavaro cannot afford any more delays. What about the general? Luco will take care of him. By now he should be giving him nice warm toaster bath. <laughs> Once we get control of our character, we can now stand up and run around. At the bottom of this staircase, there is another hidden collectible. So just bare left, hugging the wall, go behind these boxes and you'll find a smaller crate at the back. Shoot it and you should find a briefcase inside. Once we pick that up, we should be good for collectibles within this warehouse. We're now going to interact with the plutonium on the table here, as well as the warhead and then we can progress the mission. Now that those are being verified, we're going to open the warehouse door here by just interacting with the button. And then we're going to head over to the ship and board it. As we go up the ramp, there will be a guard at the main door. So you can just see his head there as we approach the ramp. 
From about halfway up the ramp, you should be able to start aiming at him and get a good shot on him before he looks at you. Then we're going to take a right and head through this little small door here. Through this next door. The door directly ahead of us is currently locked. The goal is to open that one. We're going to go into the medical bay first of all, which will find a tape. Press A on that. There's also health on the wall if you need a little bit of health. Back out the door now we've activated the tape and go into the next room adjacent to it. After that conversation's played out, we're going to knock the guy out. Next to him is a passport and then directly behind us, which you can hear beeping, is another tracking bug. Make sure you collect that before proceeding on with the mission. We're going to head up this staircase onto the next floor. There'll be a brief cutscene between a chef and a crewmate. Once that's played out, we're then going to get an achievement with this guy. I thought the kitchen was closed. It is closed. This is for Vladimir Moskov. Oh no, I hate that guy. What's wrong with the TV? Victor, do I look like a TV repairman? I don't know what's wrong with the TV. Go fix it yourself. So we're now going to fix Victor's TV. First of all, knock him out, as you do. And then we're just going to shoot the TV. Easy as that. That should give you an achievement. But before we head upstairs to proceed, do make sure you pick up the key from the table there. And as we go up the stairs, the achievement pops for co-conspirator for fixing Victor's TV problem. The next door we're about to open has a guard directly behind it. He is pretty quick, so you want to make sure that you pre-fire getting a shot on him before he hits you. If you do get hit by him, you will be killed in one shot. But don't worry, the checkpoint is just below where we found Victor. Head up the staircase and interact with this signal in the corner here, the radio. And then run across the opposite side of the bridge. And there's a terminal or button we can do here to open the cargo hold. You'll only be able to interact with this if you did pick up the key from the cafeteria table. We're then going to head back downstairs. Just retrace our steps. Through the cafeteria where we broke Victor's TV. Don't worry about the cook. He's completely ignoring us. And then this door that was previously locked is now opened. We can head down into the cargo hold. And there's a little bit of a puzzle here. Um, you have to shift the weight of one of the boxes onto this pressure pad. So first of all, move this crate to the left so you can get past. And then we're going to move this one either to the left or the right. So there's a nice gap that we can get through. Pick the heaviest one, the 242. Put him on this pressure pad and the gate behind us will open. Run in, open this crate to the left, pick up the briefcase, and that is the mission complete. We've now only got two missions left to go. We're now going to move into mission six, which is Rome in Italy, which has kind of got a Casino Royale vibes from the James Bond films. Our agent that we need to speak to is actually based inside the casino. So instead of going and speaking to her first, we're actually going to run around the outside and get the security van. So head down this left corridor or street and then round the back of the casino you will find a CIA security van and this should be our fifth and final one. So the collectible achievements are now starting to pop for us. Sneak at the back of the van and press A and that should give us the achievement shortly for our fifth van. Head down this street and then take a left at the end of this little dead end or cul-de-sac, you will find a KGB car. And as you've guessed it, open the trunk and we'll find another briefcase. That should be all the collectibles for outside of the casino. So we can now run round to the front, head inside. And soon as we head inside, there should be three secret agents that we can spot with our binoculars. So head in through the front door. And then what we're going to do is scan the blackjack table. It's actually the dealer here, which is one of the spies, taking us to 13. 
there is another one behind us on this table taking us to 14 and then to the right here reading the paper our 15th and then speak to agent 21 to progress the mission casino roma stay sharp agent 49 there are a number of foreign spies in this casino the woman at blackjack is one spot the others most importantly we have tracked down savaro here speak to agent 39 right got it we're then going to head up to the upper level and speak to agent 39 He's actually playing the grand piano on the right hand side here, just above the staircase. Speak to him, and when given the option, select number two. You know, entry of the gladiators. Would you like me to play a tuna? You must be agent 49. I'm agent 39. You need to talk to agent 31. She's the one with the red olive in the martini. Right. Find the lady with the red olive. On this upper level, there's another three agents or spies to scan with our binoculars. So one here by the bar, then one on the right hand side of this poker table. And then the sixth and last one for this level is beside the window sat in the chair, taking us up to a total of 18. Head over and speak to Agent 31 to progress the mission. Agent 49. Secret Agent 49. Here is the plan. Zavaro is playing Chaman de Fer. He hates to lose, and your objective is to make sure he does. When he loses, he will spend the night chasing his losses. Right. Make him lose so I can win. Got it. This will buy you more time to break into his office. Don't worry. The dealer is also an agent, so the cards will be favorable. Capisce? Right. Make him lose so I can win. Got it. Come and see me once you are done. Head to the poker table, sit down, and let the cutscene play out. Curses. Dealer, let me raise the limit. Perhaps you would like to take the shoe, mister. 49. Secret Agent 49. I am an American spy. Here to spy? Or make me lose? Dealer, give me another 500,000 on Banco. Bankier perde. Curses. This is a scandal. Dealer, I need another 500,000. I want to get my money back. Looks like your luck has gone cold, old boy. Deal the cards, dealer. Let's see what they do now. Curses. This is absolutely intolerable. Dealer, I will horse whip you. I need another 500,000. Once we stood up, turn around and speak to Agent 31 again. Bravo. Looks like Zavara will be there all night. I quite fancy going back and winning some more money. Pay attention to the mission, Agent 49. Intel has a Zavaro keeping an office behind this casino. Go through these balcony doors and climb the vines to reach another balcony. You will need to shoot the lock off the door. Careful. There are laser beams and bulletproof glass. Sneak inside to avoid detection. Capisce? Right. Shoot the lock off. There is a pistol in the trunk of the car outside. It has a CIA number plates. Just a quick question as you breezed over it. What does capiche mean? Good luck, Agent 49. Open the balcony doors beside her and then walk up to the balcony edge and press A to vault. To our right is a CIA car, open the boot on the trunk, grab the pistol and then what we want to do is climb up this trellis or ivy next to the CIA car. Just press A to mount, push forward to climb up to the very top. It'll automatically mantle over this ledge and stand on it and then we kind of have to shimmy around the outside. So take a left, shimmy around. And then all I'm going to do is jump from this corner onto that balcony. Shoot the lock off the door. So the right hand door handle. Open the door. Sneak to get through the laser beams. And then shoot the red power box here. Once inside the room, there is a tape to play on this right hand side. We can also open the drawer in the desk. 
open that where we'll find a passport I do read the newspaper here again not sure it's necessary but going to do it anyway get our achievement pop for our eighth and final tape play behind this chair you'll hear a tracking bug beeping that's our final one for the achievement and then head over to this bust to find a secret button which will open a safe behind us do a 180 go and crack the safe and then we should get our sixth and final dossier in there also popping achievement also inside this safe is a diamond just to ensure that you pick both of those up the diamond of course being part of the main story mission there's the achievement pop for counter espionage for all dossiers we can now hack the computer which gives us three clues roman gods greek mythology the odyssey which relates to the bookcases head over to roman gods pull that one first then head over to greek mythology pull that book and then back across to this bookshelf to pull the odyssey and that will open a secret door into his secret laboratory head inside and then there is two buttons or fingerprint sensors just make sure you shoot those once or twice to make sure they're completely broken and then we're going to take the lift down as you get down there will be a camera on our left hand side just ensure you take that out little checkpoint at this point because we are going to have a possible duel with another agent inside here what is going on that alarm is annoying what up boris that alarm is a containment field destabilizing everything is operating in reverse well it is giving me a headache otto can you purge the subcritical mass <coughs> As we go around the corner, there is another security camera. Just make sure you take that out before getting spotted. There is a fingerprint sensor on this lock. We'll need to hack that by pressing A and then we'll have to quickly take out this guard before the door shuts on us. So pre-aim, shoot him and then get through. If the door does shut, you will just have to use your fingerprint scanner again. Then we're gonna knock out this scientist and then we have a little puzzle here, nothing too difficult. Firstly, interact with this console for the radium increase and then the radium decrease. That'll light that up in green. And then we want to decrease the plutonium in this one here, second console. And then we want to go to our left to increase the plutonium. That'll put a green light on that one, as seen on the board. And then we want to decrease evil X13. And then we want to increase evil x13 and that light up green on the board and then we can head over and isolate the supply which will in turn open the airlock and we can head on through slam the button to open the airlock door head inside and then once we get to the bottom of this staircase we're going to knock out the scientists and press the button that will complete mission six moving us on to our final mission. Although it looks like we filled the mission and died, we actually haven't. We've just progressed to mission seven where we wake up on this gorgeous tropical island. And it just happens to be an evil boss lair as well. <laughs> so as we get control of our character after this brief cutscene, we're going to head out the main doorway here. And again, look out to sea. There's a nice little sailing boat or a yacht. Aim your binoculars at that and we will get our last agent or spy and get the achievement for counter intelligence. Turn around and head to the pool jump inside the pool and just swim the full length there is an achievement for relaxing so it involves swimming in the pool and playing tennis so once we've got to the other end that classifies as swimming in the pool and then all we need to do is head over to this tennis ball machine interact with it 
and then kind of bump into the balls do this once or twice and the achievement should pop hopefully there we go pops right now and we get champagne swing for playing tennis and swimming in the pool head inside the main complex and on the left hand side we should find another passport this should be our eighth and final passport also popping an achievement called foreign asset and then we can head over to the table sit down and listen to the conversation good afternoon agent 49 please take a seat i trust you are well rested you have of course already met agent 22 yes i have had the pleasure i suspected her to be a double agent at the risk of sounding ungracious why am i here seems to me the enigma is active indeed agent 49 but i do not have the diamond well neither do i well then you leave me no choice i wish my sharks bon appetit goodbye agent 49 at this point we'll be thrown into the shark pool as long as you don't touch the sharks you should be fine don't take damage but in the very center of the pool is a briefcase ensure you pick that up and that should be our 15th and final diplomatic cachet and that should pop the achievement we're now free to roam around in this building head to the very back bedroom here and you'll find another tape to play this is just purely instructions on how to open the secret area you can't actually open the secret area or the cactus until you've played the tape i did try so we've got instructions that there's a secret button inside this cactus so just open the cactus and then directly behind us a door should open head in inside and interact with the button this will then take us through to a lava filled layer with a little shuttle or a train cart here head inside and press a we're on the final stretch of the game now this is kind of the last area in his secret lair where he's looking to launch the missile at this point there is two endings which give you two achievements one of which is the bad ending where you let the timer count down from 15 minutes to zero and the kind of the world ends and we're going to go through and do the good ending first of all which is to sabotage the rocket so once we got to the bottom of the staircase grab the gun and then we're going to speak to agent 22. well if it is miss double crossing double agent actually i am a triple agent sorry about the shark trap i had to convince zavaro of my loyalty give me a good reason not to shoot you because i have the diamond you will need the diamond to destroy the rocket why did zavaro steal his own diamond to convince general Zhu, the cia stole it you need to destroy the shield on the enigma this will stop the energy flow to the rocket then place the diamond into the rocket core this will cause the enigma to become unstable zavaro has underestimated its enormous power it will destroy the world if he engages the enigma great another end of the world plot fine i will save the world right let's go and turn this rocket off so head into the main complex area with all the terminals there is a heavily armed guard here just to ensure you take him out so once we got to the bottom of the stairwell take a left and there's going to be a security camera take that out we've only got one of those left to go interact with this terminal or server here in turn it will give us the achievement for enigma bug 298 and also tell us how to destroy the enigma which is to shoot the core of it which we're going to do very shortly but before that we're going to get our final and 20th camera so jump up here and make sure you destroy this that should then give you the achievement for surveillance op right we're then going to activate this lift at the very bottom of the lift will be two guards coming towards us we want to try and take them out quickly I did die, but you reload just upstairs. So I've come back down the lift and shot the second guy. Over near the Enigma, which is on our right hand side, is another guard. Shoot him. The Enigma will try to shoot you. So just crouch and you should be safe. And then we're just going to keep shooting the core 
until its health reduces down to nothing. At this point, it'll stop shooting at you. And then we can go towards the rocket here. And then at the base of the rocket is a guard. Just make sure you shoot him. And then on this little bit of scaffolding, there is a lift. Just head up to the top of the lift. Knock out this guard or engineer at the end here. And then we're going to interact with the rocket to insert the diamond and sabotage the enigma. Cursus, what has happened to the enigma? Reset the launch to 10 seconds. Give me my binoculars. Fools, Agent 49 is still alive. Will someone please kill that cockroach? Now that that's done, we can head back down the lift. Jumping will kill you outright, so let's head on down. And then we're going to head back to that lift we came down previously, taking us back up to the upper level. Once up the lift, we want to take a left and head into the main control room. Here we're going to find three agents, which we need to take out without dying. Again, it doesn't matter if you do get killed, there is a checkpoint just around the corner. And you can keep trying until you've got all killed. The door is currently locked, so we'll need to destroy the power to it, and then the door will open. Just watch the rocket take off here. It's a glorious sight. Don't worry, not all is lost. Break open the door, and then we've got three guards to kill here. One there, which nearly got me. And then these two here. The third one's kind of oblivious. There's a little bit of a dialogue play out here. Indeed. Boring monologue. Now you are a dead genius. And if that's not a clue what to do next, nothing is. Shoot him, and then we're just going to abort the enigma, which is going to give us the achievement for kind of the good ending, and of course destroys the rocket. This will then kick in the end credits, and the credits will roll. While that's going on, I'm just going to open the achievement list here. And you'll notice that you should, if done correctly, you should have only one achievement left, which is to get the rookie mistake, which is to allow the Z1 rocket countdown to reach zero. So once the credits have ended, make sure you press resume game and not new game. New game will start you afresh and wipe all your progress. So make sure you press resume game. Open the options menu and then we've got mission select. Load up the classified mission, which is mission seven. Unfortunately, we will have to run through this mission, but it's relatively short. We're not picking up any collectibles or anything this time. Head out the double door into the main complex. Have the conversation at the dining table, which in turn will throw us into the shark pool. Jump out and then we're going to head up to the tape recorder in the bedroom. Listen to that, open the cactus, head through the secret door, enter the little shuttle, head along here, and then we're going to speak to Agent 22 again. You don't need to necessarily pick up the gun, but I do anyway. Once this conversation's run through, just head into the main room where all the guys are at the terminals, and that should kick in the countdown. Wait until that reaches zero, and that should give you the bad ending achievement. I stood in the middle of the room, forgot about the guard, he started shooting at me, so just make sure you take him out first. Then wait for the full 15 minutes, and when it gets to the last 10 seconds, the achievement for Rookie Mistake should pop, giving you the full 1000 gamer score. As always, if you found this video guide useful, please like the video, and if you aren't already, please subscribe, it does really support the channel. I hope you enjoyed this game as much as I did and I will see you in the next video.